your very funny. It's your boy Shadow the Earth Angel, aka Star Brands, and you are watching Star Vlogs. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again for tuning in. We're in the new spot. We're in a new negotiated little living situation. I didn't buy it straight out there. I ain't gonna flex. This is not all the way mine. I'm just a renter. I'm just renting. I'm just renting. But it's big. It's nice. And you know, we're gonna be here for a little bit of time and we're building up. We're gonna be shooting some music videos, we're gonna be doing some stuff. But for right now, what are we talking about today? We're talking about staying motivated, staying motivated in hard times because you know it's a recession. Um, I don't know if I think two quarters of a decline, I think we're in a recession. It's a recession going on right now. Uh, money's getting tight for people, people are starting to lose faith, there's wars going on. There's this battle of the sexes going on. It's a lot going on. But how do you stay motivated? For me, I stay grounded in the Lord Jesus Christ. I stay grounded in my faith. Um, but I have a goal. I know my purpose. I know I have a purpose because when things get hard, there is provision that comes out of nowhere. And maybe if you're sad right now, if you feel like you're not winning right now, you're not looking at the things that keep happening for you that are good. Are you... Uh, working every day? Do you have a job even if you don't like it? Are you working towards your goals piece by piece? It may not be where you are, but you are moving towards it. Are you having a fight with your partner and, and you guys just can't seem to get along because maybe there's a different way of looking at it. Maybe there's a different way of approaching it. There's so many opportunities to keep fighting and make small adjustments each and every day and that is a little advice for me um about how to stay motivated because to open up with you all for a very 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 long time very very long time in life i've had a hard time loving myself i've had a hard time loving myself and wanting good for myself because i've been around people that have tried to knock me down and treat me like i'm just this arrogant person and i'm always giving I'm a big giver and I've always been manipulated by people that try to make me feel like I'm not a giver to give more until it hurts me. And that's the type of position I've been putting myself in and putting my company in and putting my uh, family in because I'm too open to people's telling me I need to be more empathetic. And maybe that may be your problem as a man is that you can't focus on winning because there are people trying to bash you down before you get to that self-belief that they call arrogance or that self-belief or that self-love that they call narcissism. Don't get the two things conflated. If you're constantly apologizing, that's step number one, you're not a narcissist. Narcissists can't apologize. So focusing on yourself and knowing that you have to take a little bit of time for yourself is not narcissistic. That is self love because if you're not straight you're not going to be in position to help anyone else so love yourself and fellas i know it's hard harder for us because we can't complain there's a burden to perform that must be met and then when you meet that burden to perform there is sabotage there is manipulation and there is people that become on your neck to keep you down because you're a threat now so it never gets any easier and to open up even more, there's been times that personally, I have wanted to not be here. I thought it would be better to just see blackness, the blackness of sleep, but forever, if you know what I mean. Self-deletion, tired of it. Because I, I, hate, I hate how much people put pressures on you that are not yours. Pressures of their world and how they look at it that doesn't belong to you but it belongs to them. And that's the true selfishness. And I, and I thought it was better, what if I'm just not here? I'm out of everybody's way. Now you have no excuses, I'm gone. And that's my biggest thing. I like to remove excuses from people of why they're failing. Because people like to hold on things from, from you so that they can create a reason why they're failing. And that whole aspect of people makes me not wanna be alive a lot of times. Because it's, it's like, I want to just do good by everyone and I want to do right and I want to excel, but people are so maniacal, they do little attachments to you and find little footholds onto you. So then now that they have that little foothold, they say, you're the reason why I'm failing. And when you remove yourself, they try to find something else to cling to. 
So then they can still just attach themselves to say, you're still the reason why I'm failing. And I've always, always, always thought it would be better to self-delete or to be gone. So now I'm no longer your excuse. So now you can finally just look at yourself and you're a failure because you're a failure. Not because of me, not because of anything I've done. And that's a lot of the burden that men have is we become everyone's scapegoats that of their things that they don't want to face in themselves. But self-deletion doesn't help anyone. Doesn't help any anybody. And you have to overcome that mental barrier through your faith, through love, through actions, through hard work of understanding that those people are doing that because they can't accept accountability for what's wrong with them and the things that they're not doing. So they want to find things to attach to so they can always have a foothold to say, you're the reason why I'm failing. So this is this video for today. It's a little deeper, you all. May Jesus bless you. May the Lord bless you. You baby Christians, remember that not everybody should be a teacher and preacher of the world. I'm talking to you YouTubers that just became a Christian trying to correct people with the Bible and you just became a Christian a month ago. That is just as dangerous as a heathen. Take time to develop your relationship in Jesus Christ before you teach on YouTube. Thank you again. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Take care.